Hello Fast Fam and welcome once again to the Brass Palace. Today's free tutorial is on this structured um, design that we will be waiting for. Now let us get into the video. If you've not seen the drafting and the sewing of the top video, I'll be linking it in the description or somewhere up here. So look for those links and click on them and go. So the first thing you need to do is to cut a piece of fabric by three and a half inch wide and then the length you're going to be using two yards that is 72 inches okay now you just sew it like you want to um in the middle or at least make sure that you have one inch left after you're done with that at your crinoline so if you see the one inch crinoline good for you if you don't see the one inch crinoline just still push the bigger one into it it would stay put okay so here i'm using the bigger one initially i used the smaller one so Whichever one is going to work just fine. Just push it into that one inch wideness that you sewn like this. Iron it down, then fold the ends. Now another thing I did was to just like place the pattern because I was using my phone to video, so I just placed the pattern with one of those three ropes that I made. So now with the remaining two, I'm trying to use it to trace the pattern back for you to see it. I did that first one off camera because I'm using my phone to video but I needed to compare it with um, two balls on so that my design is going to look exactly like that for you guys to see. I hope you understand me. So normally you should have, I should have just done the three together at once but I did one first of all because I can't hold my phone to reference the design because I'm using my phone to video so it's very really simple it's just for you to like follow the pattern and then on your own you could actually do your own design if you want to do your own design okay so but since this video is to show you two balls on that's what i'm doing and i'm just recreating that with the three different pieces of the um, rope that has the crinoline in it that's why i'm just doing layering them and pinning them down first that is the first step to layer them pin them down to your desired style you can put this anywhere you can put this on your skirts you can put it on the top on the dress anything anywhere you want to put it it is completely fine so but in this case it's a top so yeah i'm just doing it just to recreate this to design exactly like it now if you look at this part you see that my ropes were longer because on two bars on this is where it has stopped but my ropes were longer at this point you can cut those ropes and you know use your hand stitch to like close the mount or you could just use it to do your own design like i did here to extend that design for another classic look that's what i did <laughs> now let's go into how to sew it i'm just going to show you how to sew it so you need a thread and it's single, I put it single, so I'm only tying one end of the thread. The other end of the thread will be released gradually as I move on. So, I put my needle through. Basically, where you put your needle, where your needle comes out of is where your needle should go back through. So that it looks neat, you know. You don't want anybody seeing those threads outside. Because you might decide, that, okay, you don't want to bid yours. If you don't want to bid yours, it's fine but just make sure that you're sewing you're still sewing on the exact same spot so it's just going to seem like a little bit of pinch 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 everywhere just sew as much as you can hold everywhere down and then for added you know paparazzi you can just um do beads glide beads glide embellishment you know it depends on how much is your client paid you so because this looks easy but i'm telling you it's not easy the sewing process is it's tasking because you need to make sure everything is staying put it was not easy um making this video and also sewing it down it was not easy so please for this can you like can you subscribe can you share this video and please remember you saw this video here first tamara's palace was the one that made this video first so you need to stay tuned to my page you know <laughs> you can follow us on instagram follow us on facebook also join our facebook group you will also see my free telegram group where you can also ask questions and show me style pictures of style and maybe a client order i do not know how to do it so just watch to the end of this video you're going to be seeing everything there and the links will also be in the description and let me know if you have any question if you have any question i would also be in the comment section answering them for you 
please like share subscribe turn on your notification bell because i'll be posting more videos and i know you'd want to see them yeah as you can see i'm just hand stitching everything down carefully and if you look at the top you're not going to see my thread hanging out and that's because wherever my needle comes out that is where the needle like as much as you can make sure the needle goes back into that place so really if you still if you want to actually recreate the style just make sure that your phone is handy somewhere you can be referencing the style looking at it and coming back so let me know how i did let me know what you think about my own recreation so see you in another video thank you so much fast fam i love you all